All right, guys, Boy 32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting out here at an undisclosed location in a land far, far away. You know, with the Z's coming on, you got to be ready to take care of the zombies when they get there. And probably one of the best things, especially if you run into a zombie elephant, is this guy right here. This is the Bear Creek Arsenal. This is their 16-inch 458 SOCOM upper. Now, I'm running a regular buffer in here. We're going to start off with that. If we got to change them out, I've got H1, H2, H3 buffers in a bag over there. So let's do this. The first thing I do when I do a rifle test, I want to check to make sure, one, it cycles correctly. And secondly, what I want to do is I want to see if it locks back because that's where the whole system works together with the gas system, the bolt, the buffer, the whole deal. So I got one round in here, a 458 SOCOM. Just happened to have a really cool little lake back here. So let's do this. We're going to go ahead and shoot it in the water and see what happens. Here we go. We're looking for a lot back. Well, be better if I had a bullet in the chamber. Here we go. And there we go, we got a lot back. Now what I wanna do is I want to see what like a three rounds in the water would look like. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take, this is the primary arms Aurora ACSS set up for the 5.56. Five, I've got some of the ballistic tips. We're gonna zero it in at 25 yards or 50 yards, and then we're gonna take it out to 100 and see how well it groups. Anyway, let's get on with the three round shot and see if it'll cycle properly and do a lot back. Stand by. Okay, so what are we doing? We're gonna go ahead and launch three rounds into the water there. Guys, keep in mind, these things are about a dollar and a half a piece. So here we go, stand by. I'm gonna tell you something, that thing's badass. We're using the velocity trigger in this thing. Really cool trigger to have because you do have a little bit of take up, a little bit of movement in there, but the precise crisp break that you want. Speaking of velocity triggers, got the guys over here from Velocity hanging out with me today. This is actually their little hangout grounds. So I really appreciate those guys over there. Let's go ahead and get this thing set up for the 50. And let's check for accuracy. I know she'll run now. That's cool. And I know where to keep my brass set so I don't lose it in the water. <laughs> Stand by. All right, so here again, we're sitting out here in an undisclosed location in a land far, far away. Uh, just to let you know, we've punched about 10 rounds to this thing without a single malfunction. I'm real happy with that. What we're gonna do now, I've actually taken the liberty of getting this thing on paper. And what we're gonna do is that I'm shooting the uh, Underwood ammo. This is their, uh, what is this stuff? 350 grain, full metal jacket. We're supposed to be getting 1,600 feet per second out of it, which I have no doubt. But what we're gonna do down the road here, as soon as we get this thing, I'm gonna show you what we're doing, is I do have some ballistic tips. So what I wanna do is I want to do the ballistic tips uh, at this, and that's like 35 yards right there. And then we've got a target set up at 100 yards, and we'll go ahead and put it down there. And I do have the camera a little bit overexposed because I, I want you guys to see this thing. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot at that top right target so that uh, I am not going to endanger my poor little camera down there. So here we go. We're gonna put three rounds top right target. And for you guys who are interested, this is the Caldwell Precision Turret. Uh, it's my go-to for zeroing rifles. Uh, when we do rifle testing, I wanna be as stable as we possibly can. So this is one of the reasons why we do it. I'll put the link down below to the Amazon store. And I think you can pick these things up for like $49.99. Here we go. Top right. Not bad, not bad at all. Yep, full lot back on a regular standard buffer. Uh, this is a carbine tube. I know it's a longer stop, but it does sit on a carbine tube. I uh, only had about, that's 13 rounds right there. And uh, I'm pretty confident that that's gonna probably do us really, really proud. Let me go ahead and we'll uh, punch some of these with the ballistic tip. These right here are the 300 grain, 1,900 feet per second. So we're getting 200 feet per sec, 250 feet per second faster than we were with the uh, regular old flat nose. All right, so let's see if we gotta make any adjustments here. 
uh, for the uh, at that target for this ammo, and then we'll go ahead and pop them down there at 100 yards and see what the accuracy level looks like there. All right, top left. Here we go. Ooh, right in the optics planet. Let's do one more. No, I, oh, okay, that's a little better. Hmm. Let's go ahead and do three more. Okay, we'll save the rest for the 100-yard uh, target. Here we go. Let me get in here. I'll tell you something. This thing is. This he's a beast. The recoil is not as bad as I, I remembered it. From years ago but here we go i'm going to do middle left target stand by god what is that two holes so we probably need to bring the point of impact down so we'll go ahead and do that we're pretty good on the up and up all right, I'm gonna pop one more round just to go ahead and confirm center point. These uh, rounds are not cheap. That's why I don't want to uh, mess around when we get down to the 100. So we've got 20 rounds of this stuff. Center right. I'm happy with that. Okay, so far, let's see how she looks uh, when we get her out to the 100-yard uh, target. <laughs> All right, so we got that target set up down there at 100 yards. Uh, it's so interesting. We were sitting there talking about taking this thing out to 300 and uh, not sure exactly what the ballistics look like on it. Uh, so I wouldn't even know where to begin. But eventually down the road, we will probably take this out to the long range and get it out to about two or 300 yards. It would be fun to see what it's like. Uh, so what we've got, yeah, again, these are the 300 uh, grain, 300 grains, moving at 1,900 feet per second. That is just ugly. And uh, target set up at 100 yards down there. Hopefully we uh, got it going on pretty good. So we'll see how this works out. I'm going to shoot above my glasses here. Tell you what, let's shoot for uh, the middle target because I don't know where those are landing up there. They look like high. So I'm going to shoot middle right. Here we go. That bullet might be still going up. I have no idea. I see where it hit now. Hmm. Anyway, it's feeding right. Well, no. Here we go. One more. Hot damn. Bullseye. <laughs> Let's go ahead and load up another five. I feel confident. You know, it's always interesting when you get a new platform. And guys, this is a new platform. This is not my usual. You really, really... Uh, you have to gain a confidence level in it to, to figure out exactly what's going on. I'm just going to load the rest of these things up. But anyway, uh, I've got a uh, discount code over there at uh, Bear Creek Arsenal, but it's only applicable to this upper receiver. This thing's $219 out the door. Uh, you get free shipping using Codaboy underscore 32. And uh, also I'm using regular old PMAGs. Not had a single feeding issue with these things. All right, so here we go. I'm going to shoot at the left center target. Let's see how we go. Oh. Cases are feeding out at about a two o'clock position. Well, I don't have any oil in this thing. Still going. Oh, 
Damn, lost that one in the water. Woo, okay, that one was a little off. <laughs> well, that's it. Uh, a lot of people want to know my opinion of it. This is a new platform for me, uh, 458 SOCOM. What, what's it good for? Uh, bear hunting, uh, hog hunting, uh, elephant hunting, zombie hunting. It's good for a lot of things if you're into that kind of uh, a deal. Uh, would I recommend it? I didn't have anything but that one little failure to feed up in there. Just need a little bit of assistance. Uh, not a big issue for me. Uh, being that there's been less than 25, 30 rounds through this barrel, uh, it's for that big of a projectile, short and stubby and fat, I, I find that pretty well acceptable. And it was holding an, uh, a real good group there for a second till those others opened up. Not sure why that happened. But anyway, that's it. Uh, $219 at the boys over there at Bear Creek Arsenal. Uh, Coda Boy 30, Coda Boy underscore 32 for your discount code for free shipping and it is applicable only to this upper. So uh, not bad, Bear Creek Arsenal. I'm real happy and I'm pleased with the performance level. Uh, again, I don't see any signs of overpressure. Uh, a lot of people have mentioned that in uh, some previous comments. So that being said, let me know what your thoughts are if you have any previous experiences with the uh, 458 SOCOM or even the, uh, what do you call it, the, uh, there's a couple other ones out there. You got 458, uh, you know, 50 Beowulf, uh, 350, and the, uh, what is the 450 Bushmaster. That being said, we always end it like this. God bless America. God bless his men, women, in uniform, 24-7 for our freedom. And I'm talking about those guys who fight for our Constitution, as it was written by our founding fathers. 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom's not free. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And don't forget, we do have a Patreon thing. Hopefully can uh, get rid of that here in the next month. Let's go to Boy32. I'm out.